Is SiriusXM a really great music subscription service, or is it a scam? We're going to talk about that today, right after this. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today I'm going to talk about my experience with SiriusXM service. Now, many of you know I have a 2018 Honda Goldwing, and my Goldwing, as many other motorcycles now, come with Sirius XM capability in the audio system. Now, even the new Goldwings, the 2021s, even come with the XM antenna already installed. And I'm pretty sure that Indian, some of the Harleys, the Indians, and the BMWs also have XM, uh, Sirius XM capability. So, I didn't get that. Could you try again? Why is Siri talking to me when I'm shooting a video? I'm using my phone as a monitor. Uh, Siri, go away. Cancel. Okay. I found this on the web for why is Siri talking to me when I'm shooting a video. I'm using my phone as a monitor. Siri, go away. Check it out. Siri, go away. I'm done. God, I hate technology. Anyway, let me talk to you. I got to figure out how to close this thing. Piece of crap. How do I... I don't care about that. How the hell do you turn it off? Let me go back to my monitor. Okay, there we are. Sorry. <laughs> I guess when she heard... Mm, XM, she thought I was saying, mm, and I wasn't. I was saying, I can't say it because she'll come back on again. But you know what I'm talking about when I talk about uh, XM. Now, I've had this service for 10 years, probably. Uh, I had it on my other gold wings because I had it available through my Garmin uh, GPS. It had the uh, eh, XM. See, I can't say the name because if I say the name, all the phone is going to hear are the first four characters and it thinks I'm trying to... Anyway, you get it. So anyway, I had XM Radio on my other motorcycles and I have subscribed to this company for many years, back when it was just XM, actually. I think I had it back when it was before they merged. I've always had a problem with their billing practices, first of all. And I think I did a video on this last year. When it comes time to renew, at every year you sign this, you have this agreement where you use the service for a year and it's so much per month. Well, they want like $22 a month. I'm not going to pay $22 a month for a radio set of radio stations of which I only listen to maybe three or four. And I'm just not going to pay $22 a month. It's not worth it to me. And I've told them that. And when you call them uh, at renewal time, yeah, you can negotiate with them. You basically have to threaten to quit, which I did last year. Last year, I called up XM, uh, XM and I said, hey, I'm, I just want to cancel the service. Now, I didn't really want to cancel the service. I wanted the service. I just didn't want to pay $22 a month. But if they think you're going to cancel, they'll bend over backwards to make you a deal. And so I think they came back and with taxes and everything, it went from, oh, and this took, literally took 30 or 45 minutes on the phone because you have to go through several people and it's this haggling and they say, well, we'll do it for $15 a month. And then I say, no, I don't want to pay $15 a month. Just go ahead and cancel it. And then they'll come back and say, well, and they have to go talk. It's like the car dealer where you have to go talk to the sales manager. So they say, well, let me put you on hold. Let me see what I can do, blah, blah, blah. So you waste all this time. And it's basically just bullshit. So then you come back and it's, uh, they come back on the phone and they say, well, we can do it for uh, $11 a month. And I say what I said before. Listen, I just want to, ca can I cancel this? Is it possible just to can I just, I don't want it. I want to cancel it. Okay, well, let me put you through to a specialist that, that can cancel the service for you. And this goes on literally for 45 minutes. So then finally, somebody comes on and says, listen, uh, I can cancel your service today. Or if you want to keep it, we'll 
give it to you for like five or six bucks a month. It was, it was, it was less than, it was like $6.50 a month. And I finally relented last year and I said, okay. And I've done this for 10 years. I've gone through this exact same dance for 10 years. And finally, I said, okay, I'll take it for six bucks a month. I'll keep it. Even if I just use it three months out of the year, I'll, I'll keep it. And they did. They billed me $6 a month. Well, the renewal came up in December. And I noticed on my credit card bill, I get this charge for 20. They don't alert you that you're coming up for renewal. They just go ahead and renew you at the full price, which was $22 and something. And I'm just going, I can't believe this. I, I just, I, I wasn't in the mood to get on the phone and go through this dance again. I just literally, seriously, this time, I just wanted to cancel the damn thing. Because I honestly don't use it that much anymore anyway. So I call them up on the phone and you can't, um, here's no, another thing. They don't let you cancel online. Now I'm going to make a statement any, anything that you subscribe to where you can't cancel without having to make a phone call is a scam. That's a scam. I'm sorry. That, that's just my opinion. My opinion, that's a scam because they're trying to get you into some sort of upsell or to keep your business. I don't care if it's a credit card. I don't care if it's the phone company. I don't care if it's a cable company. I don't care if it's your, if they won't let you cancel your service online, you can do everything else online. You can change your credit card number. You can change your account information. You can sign up for the service, but you can't cancel. They'll never let you cancel online. That's a scam. Sorry. That's my opinion. Scam. So, I call them up. I tried. First of all, I tried to cancel online. You can't. There's no way to cancel online. They say you can cancel online on their website. There's a little link for canceling, but you can't. It, it doesn't. Basically, you have to call them. So I called them up. I wanted to cancel. I got through to somebody. They're talking to me on the phone, and they went through the dance. They went through the dance. You know, they're going to say, "Well, what, if if I can get you this a better deal, uh, would you continue at?" So, and I said, "Listen, I just want to cancel." In fact, I lied to them, okay? I lied. I said, listen, I've sold the motorcycle. Uh, I don't need the service anymore. I'm paying for something on a motorcycle I don't even own anymore. I just, I just lied. I didn't care. I, just wa I want to give them a reason where they have no reason to come back to me to try to resell me this thing because if I don't have a radio, I don't need their service. And then, of course, they say, well, do you have another vehicle that you could subscribe? I said, no, no, I don't want anything. I'm, I'm walking right now. I have a skateboard, and there's no XM radio on the skateboard. So please cancel the service. So they finally, she said, okay, let me, uh, let me put you on hold, and we'll get it. Now, this took 15 minutes just to get to this point. So they put me on hold, and damned if it didn't break the connection. The, the, I lost the, the call. The call got dropped. Of course, they don't call you back. They've got your number. They don't call you back. So I thought, screw this. I'm just going to go into my account settings and I'm going to change my credit card to a temporary credit card that I got through, I think, Citibank. I put a $1 limit on it and a 30-day expiration. And I changed my payment method to that. And I thought, That'll show them. They'll try to hit my credit card. They can't because it's no longer in their system. It didn't work. They still say I owe them $22. You know, it's not worth the hassle for the credit report and all that. So I call them again and went through the whole thing again. I want to cancel. Now, I don't know if they purposely disconnected my call. I don't know. But I called up and got through to somebody and said, hey, what do I have to do to cancel this service? And I went through the whole story again. Sold the motorcycle, don't have an XM radio. This guy went and did, you know, he finally, you know, it took 10, 15 minutes again. But my time's not valuable. What the hell do I have better to do? So they finally got it canceled. So now, you know, if you want to subscribe to XM, XM, something before that, XM, you know what I mean, uh, go right ahead. Um, 
I don't, I'm not a big, I usually listen to talk radio. So I don't really listen to music anyway. If I did, I'd just get MP3 files. Or maybe there's a service like, I've got Amazon Music, I think, through Prime. I can use Amazon Music. I'll just buy the damn songs for 50 or a dollar or whatever it is and put them on an MP3 player or a, a USB stick and play them on the Goldwing if I, if I want to do that. So I, this is just too much trouble to deal with these people. And then here I start getting every day, every day, we want you back. We want you back. And here we go. $5 a month. $5 a month. Now, why not just give me that deal and forget the 12-month renewal thing? Just, I would have paid $5 a month forever if they'd have just done that, or even $7 a month. But instead, they have to play this game, and I'm tired of playing the games. And so my new rule is I'm not subscribing to anything anymore unless I can cancel it online. Now, I had an experience about a year or so ago where I tried Hulu. I think it's called Hulu Live or one of those things where basically we were, before we got Dish, we replaced, we, we started trying YouTube TV and I tested Hulu where they have their live stations and all that. And, and it just wasn't a great interface, but I got to hand it to Hulu and YouTube TV. At least you can cancel it online. It's very easy to cancel the service. That's the way all of these things should work. And you know what? If a good series comes back on, like Handmaid's Tale or something like that, I wouldn't mind resubscribing to Hulu for a few months just to watch it. Or HBO, same way. I would subscribe to that just if they came out with the new Game of Thrones, I'd watch it. But I want to be able to cancel it easily. So anyway, I know I'm rambling on about this. I want to know what your experience has been with Sirius Oh God, is she coming? Uh, I think she, I think she missed it with uh, XM. So if you've had the same experience I've had, if you've had to go through this dance to get a good deal, or are you paying the $22 a month? Maybe you didn't even know you could negotiate with them, but you can, you can negotiate it down to five or six bucks a month, but I just don't choose to play their game anymore. And uh, let me know what your experiences is in the comments down below. Do you think uh, XM is a scam? Is she coming? I don't know. I'm afraid she's going to start talking to me any minute. <laughs>